Many people are of the opinion that present-day societal evolution is greatly impacted by a tribal mentality that is profoundly ingrained in the majority of people. Whatever or anyone deviates from the norm or is disliked is likely to be shunned and labeled negatively under such a society. This applies to both individuals and things. Sigma males find themselves in a position of being dissimilar from the traditional alpha and beta archetypes, and as a result, they frequently find themselves on the margins of society compared to their peers. They travel through a world that does not appear to have been constructed or planned for them. However, they are able to not only survive but also prosper by independently charting their own road and remaining unconcerned with the perspective of others. A different form of strength and resilience is embodied by Sigma males. This kind of strength and resilience originates from inside and is not reliant on societal affirmation or acceptance. The seven depressing reasons why Sigma males are shunned by society will be covered in this video. On top of that, they will handle everything by themselves. It is common for Sigma males to be referred to as weird, unusual, or even loners by other people. This is because they are comfortable engaging in activities that are normally considered to be social events by society. They do not appear to be bothered by the idea of going to the movies, dining out, or attending events by themselves, in contrast to the majority of people. This preference for solitude is not the result of a fundamental antipathy to other people. Rather, it stems from a profound sense of self-satisfaction and enjoyment in their own company by themselves. A relationship with oneself has been accepted and cultivated by Sigma males, which enables them to enjoy and take pleasure in their own presence. Their desire to not be reliant on anybody else for satisfaction or enjoyment is shown in their independence, which is an intentional decision. They won't let the lack of a companion prevent them from going to their favorite restaurant if they want to go there. Sigma males stand out in a world where the idea of engaging in particular activities unaccompanied by others, may elicit feelings of apprehension or fear of being judged. Their self-sufficiency and self-assurance are demonstrated by their lack of concern for societal norms around company and public places. A feature that sets Sigma males apart is their capacity to enjoy their own company without experiencing feelings of self-consciousness or being concerned about how others perceive them. This quality highlights their distinctive approach to life and their refusal to rely on societal validation for their decisions and actions. They do not comply to the social norms that are expected of them. Because Sigma males do not comply to established social norms, they frequently experience feelings of apprehension, intimidation, or avoidance from mainstream society. This is because of the very essence of the Sigma man. The cause of this reaction is a lack of understanding regarding the inherent characteristics of the Sigma male. At their core, Sigma males are profound thinkers who possess a great grasp of both their own world and the larger existential terrain. They are able to see beyond the surface level because of their intellectual nature, leading them to question and frequently disregard the trivialities that society lays an excessive amount of importance on. Many of the customs and expectations that society has appeared to them to be shallow and they do not believe that they should pay attention to or conform to them. Living life on their own, Sigma males frequently engage in actions or make decisions that go against societal norms. Despite the fact that it is genuine and unapologetic, this disregard for social conventions has the potential to unnerve individuals who are more acclimated to conventional ways of living. The actions of Sigma males are driven by a true indifference to societal approbation rather than by a desire to rebel. Their approach to life indicates their preference for having a life that is meaningful and self-determined over the pursuit of societal approval or validation. This trait, while liberating for Sigma males, is frequently misinterpreted as a sign of disinterest or resistance, which adds to the mystique and lack of understanding that surrounds them. Thirdly, they are not restricted in any way in terms of the topics they discuss. A belief that sets Sigma males unique in the contemporary cultural scene is their view that no topic should be off-limits in conversation. Sigma males fight this convention in a world where some subjects, such as politics, religion, or finances, 
are frequently regarded as inappropriate or impolite to discuss. The argument that they are making is that free discourse on any topic is necessary for learning, growth, and understanding. Conversation is not just idle chatter to Sigma males. Rather, it is a means of discovery and intellectual growth. They feel they can contribute to the increased knowledge and understanding of individuals concerned by engaging in conversations that many others avoid. It is essential for Sigma males to have the freedom to freely discuss thoughts on any and all subjects, particularly those that are considered to be sensitive or contentious. According to their perspective, information and knowledge are essential resources that ought to be discussed and disseminated, rather than repressed. This approach demonstrates their commitment to personal growth as well as societal advancement, as well as their belief in the independence of the mind. By promoting open debate on all issues, Sigma males not only encourage their own growth, but also challenge others to widen their viewpoints, shedding light on areas that are frequently kept in the shadows of public discourse at the same time. At number four, they have boundaries that are extremely rigid. Sigma males are noted for their uncompromising commitment to maintaining solid personal boundaries, particularly with regard to the manner in which they value and effectively manage their time. When it comes to allocating their time, whether it is for business, social activities, or personal projects, they approach the matter with great care because they understand that time is a valuable asset. This meticulous management of their schedule is illustrated by their timeliness. They are dedicated to appearing and departing precisely as they had planned. Their deep-seated belief in self-reliance and autonomy is reflected in the accuracy with which they time their actions. This precision is not simply a reflection of their discipline. It is not acceptable for Sigma males to let other people dictate their schedule or interfere with their ability to manage their time. They ensure that they continue to maintain control over their lives and the manner in which they spend their time by establishing distinct boundaries and adhering to those limitations. The fact that they adhere to their stringent schedule means that they have zero tolerance for people who are erratic or who are routinely late. Sigma males will remove people from their life if they don't respect their time. The fifth point is that they have a hard time empathizing with people who are being lazy. The misunderstanding that many people have about Sigma males is that they are heartless or vicious. This misconception is frequently caused by the fact that they appear to lack empathy for individuals who are incompetent or lazy. This impression has its origins in the value system of the Sigma male, which places a great premium on work, competence, and self-improvement of the individual. A distinct approach is taken by Sigma males when they hear complaints from someone they consider to be lazy as opposed to the majority of people who might show polite sympathy or concern. They hold a disdainful attitude toward individuals who are lazy and lack effort, and they believe that providing help to such individuals can sometimes enable them to engage in actions that are counterproductive. A strong belief in personal responsibility and the significance of making efforts to improve oneself is held by Sigma males. It is not a sign of heartlessness on their part to refrain from expressing empathy toward individuals who appear unwilling to make such efforts. Rather, it is a reflection of their commitment to the ideals of diligence and self-reliance. Empathy and support are reserved for individuals who demonstrate a commitment to develop and improve according to their worldview. Despite the fact that this approach is frequently misunderstood as a lack of compassion, it is in fact a representation of the Sigma male's belief in the worth of personal effort and the potential for individual growth. The sixth point is that they do not look for validation on the internet. A preference for keeping a low profile, particularly in the arena of social media, is one among the characteristics that distinguishes Sigma males from other types of men. A different road is taken by Sigma males in contrast to the majority of people who participate actively in online platforms, sharing personal aspects of their lives for the purpose of public consumption and validation. They are not driven by the desire to receive acceptance from others, and the idea of sharing personal information with a large number of people is not consistent with their values. They have a small or non-existent presence on social media, which is more evidence of their preference for seclusion. 
because they place a higher value on their privacy and anonymity than they do on the perceived benefits of having an active online identity. They make the decision to keep their personal information and experiences hidden from potential prying eyes. This approach has the potential to make Sigma males appear uncommon or even mysterious in a society where the use of social media is pervasive and is frequently associated with social relevance. They are considered to be exceptional because of their lack of presence or restricted participation on these platforms, which distinguishes them in a world where openness and sharing are valued. These are the standards. It is an intentional decision that coincides with their preference for a more reserved and private living, away from the scrutinizing eyes of the online world. This choice, which is frequently misinterpreted as aloofness, is a conscious one. Seven, they regard all individuals in the same manner. As a primary driver of human advancement and social dynamics, the desire for status stands out as a crucial motivator in a society that is predominantly driven by the pursuit of status, power, and innovation. The pursuit of status frequently results in the demonstration of superiority and the anticipation of receiving preferential treatment. In contrast to this societal norm, however, Sigma males exhibit a major deviation. They conduct their business in accordance with the idea of fundamental equality which means that they treat everyone they come into contact with with the same amount of respect, regardless of their societal standing. Whether they are engaging with a homeless person or a CEO, Sigma males see both as equally deserving of human decency and respect. According to them, the widespread practice of adjusting respect based on one's external status is not something they subscribe to. In the viewpoint of a Sigma man, Respect is not something that is inherited through social standing or money achievement. Rather, it is something that is earned through personal worth and actions. Therefore, in order to acquire extra respect from a Sigma man, individuals are required to demonstrate their merit by way of their character and the actions that they take. This approach highlights the Sigma male's disregard for societal hierarchies and their commitment to evaluate individuals based on their fundamental traits rather than their social or economic status. Especially noteworthy is the fact that they are committed to this approach. The status-focused norms that are pervasive in society are challenged by this perspective, which not only sets individuals apart. Are you in agreement with the points that I brought up in this video? Leave a comment below and let me know. You are appreciated for watching.